from Arlington, Texas, we've got baseball on the show. It's the Cleveland Guardians and the Texas Rangers. First pitch coming your way next. All right, just about set to go. And today on the Hill, John Gray singing he's been outstanding and should be fun to watch. Well, when you have a guy that can limit the opponent to very little run production, you have a great chance to win a ball game when he takes the mound. He's just having an outstanding season so far. You hope he can maintain it because if he can, he'll be in a nice conversation at the end of the year. All right, ready to get underway. Here's Brian Riccio. First pitch, and he just misses. Wow, boo. First pitch of the night, and looks like the strike zone is a little small. That's a strike, and the count is one and one. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Ooh, Baez. You got to remember to take the donut off the bat, partner. And that one moves his feet. could see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Right-hander kicks deals. The punch out there. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. It's a strikeout, but they'll be in good shape if they make their outs as difficult as that one. Those grinding ABs take a toll on a pitcher as the game goes on. David Fry, the next to hit, takes ball one. Gray measures six feet four inches. 225 pounds a former first round pick back in 2013 sliced hard but foul one down base is empty popped up left side settles under it and there's two away Here's the Guardians lineup now. We could be in for a power showcase today with the wind blowing out a lot of lift and separate, Chris. Well, we know hitters are in this era definitely trying to hit the ball in the air regardless of the conditions, but I think even a little more so there's margin for error if you can get the ball up in the air. So, you know, you'll see at times, I'm sure, with two strikes, what looks like a half swing that can get out of the ballpark with a hitter who's got decent pop. Two out, space is empty. And fires in a fastball at 95. This guy at the dish excels in two strike counts. Got to be careful with him out there on the mound. Next offering upstairs. Looks like he thinks that should have been a strike at the top of the zone, but doesn't seem to be too upset. That's just a case where I think he's trying to get a better feel for the umpire strike zone and what he's going to be calling. That's just a part of pitching. And another ball. And down on strikes he goes. Guardians go down in order. Nothing doing for the Guardians there. Now the Rangers will get their first crack. We're scoreless. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back at Globe Life Field, today's starting pitcher, Carlos Carrasco. 
Well, coming into this game, hitters are batting under 250 against this starting pitcher. So it just shows you how effective he's been. He's been able to move his pitches around, add and subtract, change up the look so that hitters don't get too comfortable and start squaring up the baseball. We'll see what he's got in this one. And the batter now, Marcus Simeon. And a pinch. Hard hit left side. Throw off guard. He's safe. And a nice job there to keep it from getting away. Well, as an offense, you want to get the crowd involved right away. Get that good energy working for you. But this time, the defense does it for them. Always a great opportunity when you can get your leadoff guy on base to start the game. And it doesn't matter how it happens. Now it's Corey Seager. Swings through that one for strike one. Uh -oh. One strike. Simeon aboard here at first with nobody out. Swing and a miss. And it's 0 2. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Roll to short, possible two ball. Steps on the bag for one. On the nailer, they get two. Very composed play from the shortstop position right there. I mean, that was a perfect decision. Go ahead, take it yourself, get to second, and then fire to first. Make sure you get those two outs. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. And that's in there at the knees for a strike. And the right-hander deals. Ball, outside. Up and okay. in, and it's two and one. As a veteran out there on the ball, you're trying to establish both edges of the plate right here. He's working inside. Two down, nobody on. In the air to left, down the line. Fry makes the grab, and that's the inning. Scoreless after one. Back in Arlington, new inning getting started. Here's Josh Naylor. All around, I think if you asked anyone in this organization, who's the best hitter in the lineup, they would say him. And a pitch. That immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Not sure if he was expecting for the pitcher to come right at him, but he got a nice cookie there and just watched it the entire way. And the pitch. Swing it a foul straight back. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. Gosh, here it is. Hit it. Three pitch strikeout. All fastballs. Man, he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch right now. Here's Ramon Laureano. Ball. And ball one to the right fielder. Turned on, but foul wide of third. One out, base is empty. And now the count, one and two after the swing and the miss. Wow, good luck catching up to that one. And here it comes. Swing and a miss, came out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. 
back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Here's Tyler Freeman to hit. Freeman hits it in the air. Tavares running hard to get it. Grabs it on the run. And that is that. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom of the inning. Now here's the Rangers DH Adolis Garcia. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. And that one fouled off. Off the, the plate, get a count one and two. Too close for me, partner, to take that 0-2 fastball, but for whatever reasons, he let it go by. He's still in the at-bat. I don't think he'll let the next one go. One and two now. Ground ball, Naylor. And he takes it himself for the out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And now the catcher comes up to him. Jonah Heim. Right through there for a strike. All tied up. Bottom half of inning number two. Next pitch misses. And now it's even one and one. Rusty Valentine doing the umpiring behind the dish for us. Maybe the best name in the league. <laughs> yeah, that's a solid one, no doubt. I mean, who's better to ask than you? I kind of wonder if Rusty's his actual name or just a nickname. Yeah, no clue. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. One down, base is empty. Two ball, two strikes. Battling here as he fouls it away. Here comes a pitch. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. Bounce to third. Already yeah. two out here in the home half of inning number two. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. Now it's Robbie Grossman. catches the corner for a strike throughout One history strike. the fastball down has been the most successful pitch guys can handle a little bit better these days but they of course still prefer something belt high since it's the first Rangers go down in order nothing doing for the Rangers we'll move to the third with no score Getting ready to hit. Brennan having a lot more success on the road this season. Gray back to work. That catches the zone for a strike. Going away. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. Going two now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. The high heat too much on that one. 
Came after him with the fastball on 0-2, and that's a pretty good demonstration of what power pitching is all about. He's got the stuff, obviously, and right there, he used it to put his opponent away without needing to waste any pitches. Here's the second baseman, Gabriel Arias. Just missed. Just missed. Top of the third, no score. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. Just missed. Fall off foul. Ground ball up the middle. Simeon toss yep, over to first. Out. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. Austin Hedges stands in. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. On the ground to the left, Seeger zips it to first. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Guardians fail to score. And we're still knotted at zero. And welcome back to the ballpark. And now, Ezekiel Duran. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. And that skips in the dirt. And that's outside. Next offering is in for a strike. Foul ball left side. Swing and a miss and a change up in the dirt. Gets to it on the first. Gets him. One away on a drop third strike. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error. But some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Digging in, Davis Wenzel. And a good fastball to start him off at strike one. One down, base is empty. And that drops in for a strike. Swing and a miss. Now two away. That was a well-executed slider away for the strikeout right there. First two pitches filled up the zone and got him ahead 0-2 in the count. And at that point, he could start expanding the zone as a pitcher. He made him chase and got the quick strikeout. Here's Leody Tavares. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Two down, nobody on. Here in the last half of the third. Misses no, off the, the play. And it's a ball and a strike. And that gets the inside corner for a strike. One ball. Two 
And the righty deals. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. He's got it. And the inning is over. On to the fourth. Still scoreless. And we're back. Now it's the shortstop, Brian Rocchio. And the right hander back to work. And that one upstairs. One ball. No straight. Lined into right. He dives, but can't hang on. That's a base hit. The throw into second. Safe. He beats it. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. A lot riding on this next at bat now as they look to take the lead at a critical point in this one. And the batter now, David Fry. 0 for 1 with a fly out. And that's off the inside edge. And it's one to no. Go ahead, run in scoring position. Nobody out. Top half of inning number four. Next pitch in for a strike. And the count even at one. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit. And part of the order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. The pitch. Falling behind two and one. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Two and two. Got him swinging. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. Here's Jose Ramirez. Struck out looking at his first at bat. Breaking ball through there for a strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Runner at second here, one gone. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two away down. And now it's Josh Naylor struggling on the road this season. Better results at home. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Out towards right center field. Tavares going after it. And that's the third out. One left for the Guardians. Still no score. Now it's Marcus Simeon. His home and away splits there. The pitch. That one finds the corner. Four to one. Well, he's looking great so far. It helps with over 80% of your first pitches or strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. And 
Ball one. That's a really good take. And he deals. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. And another ball. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. 2 2 on the way. Got him! He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at bat like that one. And he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the dugout. Got a pitch to hit and just couldn't get to it. I think that slider really caught way more of the plate than it was supposed to. Seeger stands in now. He hit into a double play his first time up. Swing and a miss. It's 0 1. The Rangers hitless so far in the game. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. And Seeger is set down. Out number two. Now back, first baseman, Nathaniel Lowe. Nathaniel Lowe up to hit. Fly to left his first time. And that's in for a strike. It's just been an impressive outing so far. Continues to pound the zone pitch after pitch. And he's been able to stay down. That's what's been key. Two outs. Ball one. one ball, one strike. Check swing. He held up. Two and one. All tied up. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Hit hard. Should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And that's a two-out double. It's their first hit of the game. Everything came together for him. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Now a good opportunity to potentially jump ahead in this game here in the later innings. Next to bat will be the Texas cleanup hitter, Adolis Garcia. Grounded out his first time. And that one fouled off. strike well if he's going to do something special right here it's going to have to happen with two strikes not close with that one and it's one and two. Oh, two fastball way out of the zone i think he's trying to speed him up got to stay back off speed's probably coming hacks and misses it's a strikeout He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. Back in Arlington, top five, John Shelby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Ramon Laureano. Laureano. Gray back to work right through there for a strike and I know you want to be patient as a hitter but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight and he got one right there but left the bat on his shoulder
Here's the 0-2. That one is upstairs. I don't like to say he wasted a pitch. I think that was a purpose pitch. Change the eye level, have him look up. Now go back exactly where you want to go. Out to short. He is safe, and he beats the thrill by a whisker. It doesn't really matter where you are in the lineup. Your job is to get on base and try to start a rally if you're leading off an inning. So an infield single does the job right there. Now we'll see if they can make something happen. No outs. Runner at first. Tyler Freeman now at the plate. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. Swings and misses. And that is strike one. With the go-ahead run at first, and we're at the top of the fifth. Runner takes off. Swing and a miss. Go to second. Well, that's just a good baseball play right there. I mean, pretty good jump off the pitcher, I'd say, and good catch and throw by the catcher. And I think if you did that ten times, half the time the guy might be safe, the other half probably out. One down, base is empty. Foul ball still 0-2. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. This guy hasn't thrown it very much. you got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. Hit correct on the curveball struck him out. Stepping up for the Guardians, Will Brennan. Struck out on just three pitches last time. That pitch gets the inside corner, and that's strike one. Hitting is all about anticipation, and right now, this lineup is struggling with it. Their swings are mistimed, and it's produced a few ugly cuts here and there. And that one is lifted in the air, and that will drop foul. The 0-2. Got him looked in. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Back at Globe Life Field. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now the catcher for the Rangers, Jonah Heim. The right hander back to work. That one missed. One ball. No straight. The one one. Line drive to short and caught. Man, that could have been a big swing in this game. Just unlucky at a really unfortunate time right there. So up next, Robbie Grossman. 0 for 1 so far. He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. That he really sells the changeup with that arm action. And that one is inside ball one. And a pitch. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. Base is empty one away. Last half of inning number five. Just missing there. Two and two. Well, he's not afraid to fall into a two-strike count. Knows the strike zone very well, so much so that I think umpires will look at him okay. and determine whether it's a ball or strike, if he swings or not. Payoff pitch. He walked in, and that will keep things going. Well, he earned his trip to first right there. It's not easy laying off pitches that just miss the zone like that. And it's a real discipline as well. He's put a lot of work into that aspect of his game, and it paid off right there. One down. So next to hit for Texas, Ezekiel Duran. 
He's over one. Well, with pretty good speed over there at first base, I think the pitcher's got to slow everything down, hold the ball a little bit, step off, just try to break the rhythm and timing of a potential base dealer. And fouled off. This is one of those situations defensively where you can't try to do too much. You've got to make sure that you field the ball cleanly and get one out first. It's going to be tough to get two with this kind of speed in the batter's box. On the ground, could be two. Feed the second, that's one, and that's two. Well, the second baseman made that one look easy. Great feed to the shortstop. Shortstop completes the play. They get out of a jam, and they end the inning. So coming into the game now on defense, Evan Carter. He takes over and right. Top of the sixth inning. And now here is Gabriel Arias. Gabriel Arias. The pitch. And that one fouled off. Got the back going too soon. It's strike two. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. And it's second. That's the ball. That one out to right. Snags it on the run. One up, one down. Austin Hedges now. 0 for 1. He grounded out in his first at bat. And Chris, his big strength is defense. But it is interesting. In today's world of baseball, compared to when you played, a good defensive catcher is considered differently. Whatever you get offensively is a bonus. But he's got to put the fingers down. He's got to present pitches to the umpire. They're going to help his pitcher get more strikes. Rips that one center field. Tavares tracks it down for the out. They trust him in center field because he's capable of making plays on the run, and we saw it right there. That's a player you want patrolling center field. Someone who can attack the ball off the bat. Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop. Brian Rocchio, one for two. Right through there for a strike. No ball, one strike. That one at 95 missed up top. One and one. On the ground to third. Sends it across the first. And that is that. Make it six shutout innings for him out there now. And we still have no score. Six. Now the third baseman, Davis Wenzel. Third baseman. The pitch. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Well delivers outside. One and one. And that's outside. And the count two and one. Good eye right there. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. Three one count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. 
Three one is on the way. That one is absolutely belted. That's down. One hops off the wall. In comes the winning run, and they will walk it off in extra innings. Well, you come to the ballpark hoping you'll see something special that day, whether you're a player or a fan. A walk-off win, nobody forgets that. A memorable moment that will be logged in the backs of the minds of everybody that witnessed this here today. And a 1-0 final score here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.